So there's a very interesting question. It's written on uh, Moshe Rabbeinu that uh, when Hashem called him and wanted to explain to Moshe, to explain Moshe how to build the menorah, the holy um, candelabra that was shining the light of the holy candles in the Mishkan, in the temporary temple, the tent. <clears throat> so it was very hard for Moshe himself to understand how to build the menorah. And he said to Hashem, the Midrash is saying that Moshe told Hashem, it's hard for me to grasp, to understand. So Hashem taught him again how to build the menorah. And Moshe went down from Mount Sinai, tried to do it, but he forgot. He came back to Hashem and told him, I don't don't remember, I was not able to do so. So Hashem taught him again. And again he went down and again was not able to remember all the details. Came back to, Mosh, to Hashem and told him, I can't do it. It doesn't work. So Hashem told him, you should call Betzalel ben Uri, and he will build the menorah. So, okay, Moshe was not able to do it, so he went down, met Betzalel ben Uri, and told him, Betzalel, Hashem told me that you should build the menorah. Immediately Betzalel said, okay, took the gold and made it. Before even Moshe taught him, before even Moshe explained to him what to do, even though it was so hard for Moshe to understand, Betzalel, without even hearing about it from Hashem, without being taught even by Moshe, built the menorah on his own. <coughs> so, there is a great question here. First of all, how it is that it was so hard for Moshe to understand something that someone else was able to do with no such uh, big problems. And as well, how can it be that Betzanel, Betzalel ben Uri was able to do so and to build the menorah without being taught? So it's a great question. And the answer is amazing as well. In Parashat Mishkan, when we're talking about the tent, about the holy, temporary house of Hashem that was walking with the people of Israel in the desert, so right after building the Mishkan, the next thing that the Torah is talking about is the menorah, is that light that is shining from the candles. And over there it's written that when the Kohen is lighting the menorah, the candle's flame will shine on its own. Aaron, the great servant, was bringing the candle to light the menorah, but the candles of the menorah were rising in flame on their own before he was lighting them, lightening them with the candle that he brought so that is the verse that is written right after the explanation on the Mishkan building itself so it's another question how can it be that right after talking about building the Mishkan the next thing means the most important thing that is mentioned is the menorah is the candles because if I'm going to ask you now do you know what Am Israel were doing in the Mishkan, in the temple? You would answer, sacrificing sacrifices. No one will say that the first thing that came to his mind was lighting candles in the menorah. It sounds as a secondary thing, not as the most important thing. But the Torah itself is mentioning the menorah first right after building the Mishkan. So, why is it so? Because the real purpose of the temple, the Mishkan, and the sacrifices and everything that the people of Israel were doing in the Mishkan 
was to shine the light of Hashem. And the light of Hashem is the inner flame of the soul of the Israeli person. Like that it's written, Kasha kamavet ahava, Aza kamavet ahava, excuse me, Ki aza kamavet ahava, Kasha kishol kinha. The love for Hashem, the passion for Hashem, is stronger than death. Means that the desire and the will to be close to Hashem is stronger than everything that exists in this world. Reshafeha, her flames, the flames of the love to Hashem. Rishpeesh, are flames of fire. Shalhevetya, a flame of Hashem. The inner passion, the inner desire of the person is a flaming fire to Hashem and it is the flame of Hashem himself Shalhevet Ya the flame of Hashem so the illumination of the will for a person to desire to come close to Hashem and to be one with Hashem is the most important thing that for it the Mishkan, the temple was built and that is the thing that was hard for Moshe to understand. For Moshe it was hard to understand, like we explained before, how to build the menorah itself, that the menorah is representing that inner illumination of the soul of the Israeli person that shines on its own. And why was it so hard for Moshe to understand how to build it? Because Moshe was that person that gave all his might and did everything he could to save the lives of the people of Israel. And he was the first one to be burnt by their nature that they, even though they saw so many wonders and so many miracles and so many amazing sights, Hashem took them out of Egypt, opened the Red Sea for them, revenged their enemies and killed them, gave the people of Israel a huge great fortune from the sea, the Red Sea, took them, gave them the Torah, spoke with them through the fire from Mount Sinai, gave them the holy tablets. Everyone saw sights that were never seen before. And even though that they saw so much light and experienced such great spiritual experiences, in the minute of test, they failed. And they lost their faith and they were doubting Hashem. So Moshe, that he was the great messenger to deliver the light and to wake up people and to help them to choose right and to convince them to serve Hashem, he experienced their failure, our failure, in such a harsh way that it was hard for him to believe that the flame of the soul of a person can shine on its own. Because he saw that with all the effort that he put and all the great wonders that Hashem made in the world, with all those illuminations, that was all not enough to wake up the souls of Israel. So now you're going to tell me that without that help, on its own, the soul will shine and glow. It was very hard for Moshe to understand that. And how come it was so easy for Betzalel ben Uri, without even learning how to do it, without even understanding and, and learning from Hashem, without even hearing about it, that he was able to do it so fast? Because the problem of Moshe was that Moshe couldn't see the success of the people of Israel because he was standing in a higher position than them and he was always trying to help them and to save them and he was not able to do that completely but for Bezalel ben Uri that he was one of the simple people of Bnei Israel, the angle, the point of view was the opposite, was different he was looking at Moshe not as the man who failed to save Am Israel in perfection, like Moshe held himself in his humble and modest way, who was thinking about himself that he was not able to redeem them completely and to save them and help them completely. Bezalel ben Uri looked at things 
the opposite way, saw Moshe as the great person that he himself is the live evidence for the fact that the soul of the Israeli person can rise and shine on its own to such heights that uh, no other person can even understand how holy and how pure and how wonderful a soul of an Israeli person can become. So for Bezalel ben Uri, there was no test at all. He grasped it immediately that the candles can rise and shine on their own because he saw Moshe, that Moshe, without the help of no man, was shining and illuminating the light of Hashem out to the world. Look at the wonders of the Torah, how deep and powerful it is, how many secrets are hidden between the lines, between the holy letters and words of the Torah. The simple stories are holding so much light and truth. May Hashem shine His light upon us all, and by the merit of all the true righteous ones, and especially Moshe Rabbeinu, we will rise and shine forever and ever. Amen.